Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you can hear now that I'm in the apartment filming. The light, it, hopefully it will stay. Um, it's kind of late in the day because I had to run around and get this TBR. This is a TBR video for the Gilmore Girls readathon, which is happening. Sorry for the background. It is a little messy, but I'm going to hopefully read all these books for the Gilmore Girls readathon, which I will leave the creators down below because I don't know them offhand and I will also leave their introduction videos, but I am very excited when I heard about this from Bookables and several other um, creators and then I was doing my own research. Thankfully, it's kind of a lazy TV, a lazy readathon because it's 14 days long, which is very exciting. It goes from October 1st to October 14th, and yes, very, very exciting. Things are happening. So the first book is the group read, which is Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. But if you've been following me for a while on my social media platforms, you know that I'm a fan of Lauren Graham, I'm a fan of Gilmore Girls, so La two years ago when the book came out it was a paper and glam book club book club read so we read it then and then we did i did the whole marie kondo thing and decluttered it if you want to see my review for talking as fast as i can i did put one up on the blog so i will leave it down below and so in instead of reading that i'm going to read lauren graham's um talk from the commencement speech that she gave at her the her hometown high school of Langley High and it is a super short book um, it's called in conclusion don't worry about it it's about this big it's about 50 pages so I am also gonna read a Lauren Graham book for this readathon instead of reading her autobiography talking it as fast as I can but and then the next book in the readathon is something to do with the school setting um, attributed to Rory going to Chilton and then Rory going to Yale. So I picked up Babysitter's Coven, this, The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. This is also going to be in another readathon, which if you're seeing this, this video should go up first and then my other readathon video should go up first. It's because the readathons are overlapping, so I'm trying to condense as many books as I can but this book is about takes place in high school there's a girl named Esme Pearl and she has a babysitter's club very cliche but then she finds out that her friend Cassandra um is kind of like who's like major Instagram popular and things like that wants to join the babysitter's club and then her Cassandra's mom leaves them a random note to find the baby the babysitters love as being love her mom and she thinks they might be a witch coven so we are gonna hear more about find out more about that but this is my book for the book in a school setting the next book is a book with a complicated or a mother-daughter relationship so I picked up or I already had this book and I still haven't gotten to read this I know this has been in at least two readathons it is the book finale by Stephanie Garber I yeah you know you guys know that I pre-ordered this from the fairy loot and I still haven't read this this is the final book in the series of um, what am I talking about Caraval and I still need to read this so as we if you haven't heard of Caraval it's a story by Stephanie Garber there's a circus and there's the two sisters um Ro oh Tella Donatella and where is it Scarlet and their mother disappeared when they were young we find that on the first book the second book deals with Tella finding out that her mother was trapped in a card and she might be a fate so that creates a complication in their relationship and in this book I don't know what happens because it's kind of complicated as you know as you can t already tell that Donna Tella and Scarlet and 
they have a complicated relationship with their mom not to mention that their father didn't tell them any part of this so yeah i'm going planning on reading finale for a tribute on the second prompt which is um a book and a mother based on a mother-daughter relationship like lorelei and rory the next book uh, prompt is a complicated love interest not necessarily a triangle or anything as attributed to Rory's relationship with Dean Jess and Logan oh the complicated threesome whose team are you on I think that I'm more on team Jess because he treated her really well he called her out and everything although you know team Logan he's pretty hot but I mean, I think he just gave her what he wanted and didn't really pay attention to her. So I picked up, I picked two books for this prompt. Hopefully I will get to read one. I picked Again But Better by Christine Riccio. If you haven't heard of her, she is a YouTuber that wrote her book, wrote this book and people have a lot of issues with this because it is about a girl named Shane and she decides that she wants to do her life part of her life over so she tries to start it again and in this book supposedly she goes after a guy already in a relationship but I will leave Christine's channel down below in case you want to look her up and see about anything but yes I am planning on reading this or I am planning on reading this book this is the book Heartless by Marissa Meyer this is a what is it Alice in Wonderland retellings talking about the Queen of Hearts and how she came to be. In this book, Catherine, who's known as the Queen of Hearts, she lives in a, um, Catherine lives in a place called Hearts. She's betrothed to marry or the favorite of the king and she, the king is about to propose and then she meets Jess, the jester joker type person and she kind of develops feelings for him. So hopefully for the readathon, for a complicated love triangle, I will be finishing one of these books. Maybe both. We'll see. Then, for a book set in a cozy setting in fall or winter, I looked up on Goodreads and seeing what was on that list. There were tons of books on that list. Um, several which of might have been easier to read, but I decided to challenge myself and see if this this was also on my very, very long TBR list. Every bookish person has a very long TBR list and I had never read this. So I picked up Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. It's a murder mystery that takes place in November of 1959 in Kansas. And other than that, I don't know much about this book. So I'm hoping this is good, Truman Capote. Um, every, a lot of people have heard his name. His name is synonymous with some good literature. So I'm hoping to read this and this gives me cozy winter fall vibes since it's set in November. Um, the next book or the next prompt is attributed to our favorite Asian girl and the only Asian on the show which is Lane and her mom who also have a complicated mother-daughter relationship. But I chose Girls of Paper and Fire. This is by Natasha Nyan. This is, Natasha Nyan is an Asian author and this I believe is set in China or something. This is the first book in a series. There is also Girls of Shadow and something, I forget. Scorn and there's another book that's coming out. Why do I always pick books that are in a series? But I hope this is good. They're supposed to be dueling for a demon king's whim, and one of them is supposed to kill the other. So other than that, I don't know anything about this book, but I look forward to reading this. There has been some good um, reviews on it, and I know that some of the other people participating in this readathon are going to read this book also. So I'm looking forward to reading this. The book that I also picked for next in a series, I'm going to use Finale because I need to read this book deeply, madly, and I didn't pick any other book for this prompt, 
um but i need to read this i think it will be very good and i will love it very much oh my gosh besides that look at this fairy loot did such a good job with this they got the card suits over here the the cover oh my gosh yeah i i need to read this book so i can keep it on my shelf this is the only way this is working and the last book for the series that I'm reading and the last prompt is something to do with food on the cover or food in the story. So I picked a book with food on the cover, which is Tell Me Three Things. Look at those waffles. Now I'm craving waffles. Horrible. Um, I basically know nothing about this book except it's the dust jacket says that everything about Jessie is wrong. At least that's what it feels like during her first week of junior year at the ultra intimidating prep school in Los Angeles. Just when she's thinking about heading back to Chicago, she gets an email from a person calling themselves somebody nobody, SN4 short, offering to help her navigate the wilds of Woods Valley High School. Is that an elaborate hoax or can she rely on SN for some much needed help? It's barely been two years since her mother's death and because her father eloped with a woman he met online, Jessie has been forced to move across the country to live with her stepmonster and her pretentious teenage son. Yay. So looking forward to reading this and seeing what else it's about. But yes, I will be vlogging in the next coming week of the maybe the Gilmore Girls readathon or at least part of it. You will definitely get an updated video on how I did during this readathon. But yes, let me know if you're doing the Gilmore Girls readathon and how you're doing. Keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram and my blog for a final blog post. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next video. Bye.